WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the downside. Dow's off 212, about a half a percent. A uh, little over one-tenth of a percent for the S&P, or seven points. The same thing for the NASDAQ. That's equal to 21 points. Same for the Russell. That's two and a half points. Some are down three-quarters of a percent, 31 bucks there. Trend is off 123, also about eight-tenths percent to the downside. You've got gold up 39 bucks. She's printed at 20.58.10. Silver's printing out at 23.52. That's up 82 cents. Three and six tenths percent move there. Natural gas up 13 pennies. The 30 year treasury printed out at 122.28. That's up five ticks. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the ES mini, upper left hand side. What do we have? We've got price consolidating with inside its daily profile. This is the small version of the daily profile out there. For example, the top is the same, the top and the center on both sets of chart tools that I use out there, 4827 to 4841. It's the bottom that's different. The bottom here, you can see on this black background chart, the bottom is where buyers are at, is down at 47.99. If price were to close below 47.99, we would then likely get a move down to 47.15. 47.15 is the bottom of its other daily uh, TAS market profile out there. Spot volatility is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. It's climbing, um, but as long as it remains below the 50-day, that really gives buyers the edge out there. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ is trained above the top of its daily profile. Just like we had a, a change in trend signal to the downside back on the trading day of January 2nd, we got a change in trend signal to the upside three days ago on January the 10th. And as long as price remains above that 16,832 level, that's the condition. The U.S. dollar index, it uh, did rally earlier this morning. It continues to find resistance again at the top of that daily profile, 102.26. You and I know that if we do see a daily close above 102.26, that likely spells uh, a rally to the upside for the U.S. dollar index. Nice rally inside of gold and silver. And really, it was U.S. dollar index. So I'd like to recruit everything as a result of what's going on over in Yemen. Uh, but at this stage here, all that's really transpired, we look at Goldilocks, prices hit both its descending trend line as well as the top of that new profile, 2062.90. Yeah, there's a new profile that is attempting to form today. In the case of silver, it got up and tested the top of its profile. Well, 2362, Lights Recruit trading into trend line resistance out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you have to start your Friday, have a fantaculous, fantaculous, a fantastic one, a fabulous one as well. And we'll see you back here on Terrific Tuesday. Take care, folks. Everything in the universe.